Now we're going to demonstrate the process of photoactivation. Photoactivation is commonly used on patients that are older, those that have autoimmune diseases, smoke or drink, as the lungs and liver are both sites of platelet angiogenesis. So if a patient has a lower free platelet count in their CBC test, then you'll want to activate those platelets to ensure that you express the maximum amount of granulocytes, growth factors, and cytokines from each and every platelet contained in that sample. To utilize the photo activator, you're going to take your prepared PRP, attach a syringe cap, and proceed to the photo activation device. This is the photo activation device. Juventix Regenerative Medical is proud to have achieved a utility patent on the LED photo activator that you see featured in this video. This photo activator utilizes polychromatic light and near and far infrared to stimulate the degranulation of platelets where they're going to excrete and release more growth factors, cytokines, and granulocytes to enhance the potency of the platelet-rich plasma. Operation of the photo activator is very simple. You simply are going to put your sample into the side of the device, marked L1 or L2. You can fit up to a 10 cc syringe easily into this chamber. Now you're going to hit start on the corresponding component on the front. This will provide polychromatic light for 10 minutes to increase the expression of growth factors, granulocytes, and cytokines from the platelets in the autologous PRP sample that has been harvested from the patient. Now that photo activation is complete, we're going to demonstrate how to transfer the photo activated PRP with greater potency into individual syringes for bioincubation. Now bioincubation can be achieved in syringes anywhere from one to five cc in size. A larger syringe would be appropriate for preparing platelet-rich fibrin for procedures such as wound care or an orthopedic injection. Today we'll be utilizing 1cc syringes, which are the recommended preparation for aesthetic procedures such as dermal filler in the face and other parts of the body. To transfer the prepared photoactivated platelet-rich plasma into the individual syringes for processing the bioincubator, simply remove the syringe cap and attach the stopcock that is provided in the PRP kit. Now take your 1cc syringes and attach to the photo activated PRP syringe using the stopcock. Withdraw 1cc of photo activated platelet rich plasma utilizing the 1cc syringe. A little trick that I've picked up along the way to eliminate air bubbles in the sample. You can actually push back and forth rapidly and then draw down with there being no air bubbles in that sample so you do not have to remove them later. After filling the 1cc syringe, attach a syringe cap prior to processing in the bio incubator. This will keep the PRP sterilely sealed inside of the syringe during processing so as not to damage or contaminate the bioincubator. Repeat this step until all 10 syringes are filled if utilizing two tubes of medical PRP. Because we're using equine blood for today's demonstration, our horse wasn't well hydrated when he was our donor. We got about nine and a half cc's of prepared PRP out of a 20 cc blood draw. When you're working with a human that's properly hydrated, this will typically yield about 10 to 12 cc's of PRP.